Hello, and this is Adam from Bourbon Guitars and the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. And in my hands at the moment is one of my Lightning Boy guitars. And this Lightning Boy guitar is a fretted instrument. It's one of my premium instruments. And usually, uh, Lightning Boys have uh, look a little different to this one. And uh, this is a little bit uh, different in that with this, I've actually got a three-way switch and volume, volume, tone, tone. So here we've actually got, you can't see any of the pickups at the moment in this, but if we open the box very, very carefully, the inside, I don't know if you can see that, but just sitting inside the box there, just in here, we have a piezo pickup underneath the steel bridge and just in here we have a hidden humbucking pickup from MGB. And it's a flat wound pickup so I haven't had to chop into the top of this at all and ruin the artwork which in this case is speckled trout. So one of the lovely things about doing this, this has kind of been wired up like a Les Paul in that both pickups have got independent volume and tone. Okay, so being that this isn't a selling spiel, this is designed for you, the builder. I just wanted to run through how I actually wired this up. So I'm gonna give you a little sound bite, very briefly, of the two different pickups. So the first pickup is, this is the humbucking pickup, tone all the way up and volume all the way up. chose to put the pickup in this middle location so that it wouldn't be too bright. And one of the reasons for that is that the piezo pickup is situated directly underneath the bridge. This is a steel bridge so it's going to have a sharper tone than a timber bridge in my opinion. So this is the tone all the way up and the volume all the way up on the piezo pickup. Alright, so I'm going to run it again. This is the humbucker. This is the piezo pickup. Now that's with the tone all the way up. Now if I run that tone down, it lessens the attack. this through a 1950s Moody amplifier. Little tiny combo, beautiful little five, I think five or an eight watt uh, little combo. And it's, uh, it's, it's just got a gorgeous break up. It's actually pushing the, this is the piezo pickup actually pushing the amp into overdrive. Humbucker. All right, so you can hear the two. Now here in the middle, I've got a blend. Percussive attack of the piezo pickup and the deeper attack of the humbucker. Turning the tone down on the piezo. That's the piezo. So that's the blend. All right, let's just run through this really, really quickly. What we've basically done with this pickup. Both of the, the piezo pickup, I'm gonna come a little bit closer now. There we go. I'm just gonna run you through it. You might wanna do this video a few times. I could probably do a drawing, but quite frankly, I'm just gonna tell you about it. All right, so what we've actually got here is the piezo pickup underneath the bridge. Now, the piezo pickup wire has gone directly to the live wire or the red wire has gone to the pickup. Okay, so the in on the pickup and the earth has obviously gone to the earth. All right. The humbucker 
has done the same thing. The humbucker has gone directly to the volume control for the humbucker. The earth has also gone to the earth here. Now, I've wired up the tone. I'm not going to tell you about wiring up tone because I'm, I'm assuming that if you're going to be wiring this up, you know how to wire up a tone. All right, so what's actually happened then is the out from the volume controls has gone to the two sides of the... Let's we'll show you this. Has gone to the two sides of the switch. Now, when you switch the the switch to the, for example, the humbucker, what it does is it disengages where the contact for the piezo is touching. Okay, so you'll notice, you'll have a little look at it. You'll see it, it kicks one off, keeps the other one on, you switch it the other way, it'll kick that one off and then keep the other one, all right? So have a little play around with it. But basically, both leads have gone from the volume controls to either side, okay? And then your earth, there's a, there's a major earth here on that side, and there's earth has gone to a volume pot. So everything's got to be earth, otherwise you're going to get a hum. Right? That's what you don't want. All right. There's a difference between um, there's a difference between 60 cycle hum on a single coil pickup and not earthing your guitar. There's an earth wire that leads from the jack uh, from the from the bridge and goes to uh, one of the pots as well. All right, so you have to earth the bridge. Make sure you've got a wire going to the underside of the bridge and to wherever you get a metal contact on the strings. It doesn't matter if it's the, if it, I used to do it with a wire to the, to the fret that was here. Um, Chickabone John's got a very interesting way of doing it. So go and check out his videos as well of earthing the bridge back behind here. I love these because these are super, super, super duper easy to earth, okay? So what then happens, with, remember, you got three switches on one side, three little tabs on one side, the two tabs on either side, one's for this one, is for the humbucker for me, and this one is for the piezo. The center one goes to the output jack. Okay, so that little blue wire there, that blue wire is going to the output jack directly from the three-way switch, the center lug on the three-way switch big thick heavy lug on the three-way switch which is sitting on that side that's your earth so make sure you earth that everything has to be earth okay if you're getting a nasty hum okay when you're not touching the strings and then the hum goes away when you touch the strings you've got to earth that means you've got an earthing problem it means you haven't earthed the strings and the strings are setting up their own weird mojo going on now you, you need to shut that down all right, otherwise it just gets really, really, really annoying. So however you're gonna do it, make sure that you've got some sort of earthing from the, from the strings, wherever the strings are touching metal, to one of the pots, and just earth everything, all right? Because otherwise you get that horrible, 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 buzzing, fuzzing, nasty sound. And then you'll be able to switch between. So, you get that, you get that, can't do it because it's not enough to volume, but you get that percussive attack of the piezo. That's interesting, isn't it? So, and you don't, and you don't get anything with that. All right, so it's quite interesting. The way I've actually heard this is, the last video, the last video, no, it said the last video we had, the last pickup, the, the single core pickup was quite microphonic. This particular one's not. Alright, so you get very, very different tones. Give it a try. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You make a mistake. If you make a mistake, send me an email. Look up Birdwood Guitars. Send me a text if you're in Australia, I don't care. Just get in contact with me if you've got any questions, I'm always here for you. Birdwood Guitars, that's where we are at the moment. You're watching The Cigar Box Guitar Builder. Have some fun with it. See ya.